In a previous project, we made some homemade fuses that can double as improvised sparklers for holiday celebrations. In this project, we're upcycling these fuses into super simple, fuse-propelled bottle rockets. To make a little rocket like this, we'll first need to gather up some simple materials like wooden skewers, electrical tape, aluminum foil, scissors, and a batch of our homemade fuses. Let's get to work cutting up the aluminum foil into pieces about 2 inches tall and 3 inches wide. Now make sure the shiny side is facing up and set it flat down on the table. Let's go ahead and grab a piece of fuse cord and cut 3 pieces off the end so we end up with 2 pieces about 1 inch long and 1 piece right around the 2 inch mark. Now carefully place these three pieces about an eighth of an inch from the bottom edge of the foil, but allow the longer fuse to stick out the end. Now let's fold the side over and press it down to hold the pieces in place, then crimp the foil down around the center fuse as tightly and neatly as possible. Now the top of our foil can be folded down and pressed flat, so we can continue rolling it all the way to the end. At this point, just pinch the foil around the fuse and begin to roll it so it forms a tight seal at the base. Now it's time to bring out the electrical tape. This will hold it all together, and we can start by folding one small piece of tape over the top and then back on itself to seal off the tip. Now let's go ahead and cut another piece about 3 inches long to wrap around the rocket nozzle. You can do this by lining the edge of the tape flush with the base, then wrapping the entire length of tape as tightly as you can. The result should be a tightly reinforced propelling nozzle. Our simple rocket motor is done, so now we can attach a wooden skewer to give it some stability and direction. These little rockets seem to work best with a skewer length around 6.5 to 7 inches. Now simply tape the rocket motor firmly to the top of the skewer, and with that, our little fuse power rocket is finished. You can tell if it's ready by laying it sideways over your finger just below the rocket nozzle. If it balances, that means you're good to go. The skewers are naturally sharp on the bottom which makes them fairly easy to stand upright. And when you're ready for launch, go ahead and light the fuse. You can see when the fuse works its way up into the rocket motor, the extra fuel catches fire and builds up so much pressure that it shoots the rocket skyward. As small and simple as they are, these little rockets take off with surprising power and can blast over 100 feet away. Of course, once you know how to make one, it's easy to make a whole bunch and all for just a few cents each. I got into my wife's scrapbooking supplies and made some little rocket skins that slide on over top just to see how they'd look. Then I went ahead and made a whole bunch more. I tried lighting a few of these rockets at the same time and was excited to see they are all fairly consistent. Now if you don't want to make a customized case, don't worry. These rockets fly higher and further without one anyway. Well now you know how to turn some dirt cheap homemade fuses into customized bottle rockets. Just try to keep track of where they go. That's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. My friends at Audible.com have really stepped up to support these project videos and offer the King of Random fans a free gift. Right now they've got best-selling audiobooks like The Hunger Games and Ender's Game that you can download and listen to for free. All you need to do is check out Audible.com slash The King of Random and sign up for a 30-day free trial. While you're there, you can choose from over 150,000 other books in loads of different categories. And if you don't like the book you got, you can always exchange it for a different one with no questions asked. It's their great listen guarantee. Thanks again to Audible for their support and for offering you a free gift at audible.com slash thekingofrandom.